hello guys welcome back and hello to you if it is your first time here please don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment well today in today's video we are going to start doing an intro into kind master video editing app kind master video editing app is an android and is a boot android and ios app for video editing with advanced features Kymaster is good uh, this is the home dashboard of Kymaster app and on it the setting when you get your app you go to the setting turn on your media browser full screen mode then we move down to uh, device capability you are going to click on this device capability to run Click on this device capability to run analysis with your device. So the app you match your device. Then you go back, come to advanced settings, turn on your unlimited video layer mode. This feature give we, we avoid limitation won't make it unlimited for you to have a uh, video layers so that when you are editing you have no limitation in editing and mm, that's it then we have the asset store the asset store is where you can get a lot of uh things to use when editing let's go there have uh, you can get stickers music uh effects transitions and a whole lot more so and is where and uh, these are my previous projects worked on and we have the get project here you can see a lot of videos to edit to your taste and just download them and work on them as you have intro music a lot of minimal video text retro and then we have create new videos and you can see aspect ratio aspect ratio is the size of your project we have 16 uh, 16 9 ratio have ratio 9 16 so most of these are for uh instagram youtube and all of that too but please when choosing ratio choose the right one because when you have started your project you can change it and click on next it will automatically bring you to choose a media file that you want to work on as your project Let's look for each each project to work. Let's do this now. Now, this is your kind master editing interface. So, by the right, you see a big ball circle. This is where you get your option on for record. Record helps you can do a voiceover or narration over your project. You have audio, this is like adding a music or a already pre recorded song. Then you have media for choosing your project. Then the layers. You have layer, then you have this big red circle for adding. Uh, instant recorded uh 
video or picture to your video uh, maybe you want to add your own picture then you click on it take a live pic selfie of yourself then add it to your video footage then i think that's all this the asset store icon and the app you have where you can save your project download then by the left you have back undo redo tab setting this one you can use it to increase your project timeline this is to go back forth and forth and back if you want then this is the play button for your project then that's it and this is your play timeline your playback monitor and then for you to we are going to talk about the features of all this here like the record live record live record we have audio media to import from media like the one the project you can add from let's add an image to it or let's add, let's add an image to it and layers you can add media from the layer that's like a, a view over your playing video you have effects sticker text and writing so this now is it we have to a picture a background picture and a video so this plus sign here is for adding transition so now we are going to use some of the features there that you can use to manipulate and edit your video the scissors scissors icon is for streaming this is to enlarge the image background and capture a particular size this rotate then we have clip graphics color fitter adjustment for fitter adjustment then we have vintage and information so with this here you can edit your frames so you are going to use some of like let's start by adding a transition and you can increase the speed or decrease it do here uh -huh. and can use this let's use the trim option this playhead will be the beginning of this is the starting point of your video so that's where it reflects this is reflecting the transition that's why there's no more much option when you move if you want to trim like from the left like no trim to the left of the playhead so now this is the left of the playhead this is the left left of the playhead this side is the left and this is the right of the playhead so when it says trim to the left this the left this is the left and this is the right so that's where it will affect now let's see trim from and from the left see this one i'm trying to tell you left and do then trim from the right see and you undo then if you want to edit or trim the middle of a particular video then you 
split has flared. You see now, it's either you trim from left or right, or you can easily trim like this. Easily trim like this. Why this uh, split and insert freeze frame? It's like you want a particular freeze frame. When you click on it, it like screenshot and split it for you. It's just like an image, like the first one. Let's delete it. So, undo the setting, then we have to increase timeline. In case you have a lot of effects that you have added to a particular scene, then this is for move to the previous point, move to the beginning, move to the end, move to the beginning and the end instantly. And, 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 and. So that's it. And think that oh, then let's just add some effects to this. Let's add transitions. Wait, now you know how to add transitions. They are very cool and cool and you're going to need them a lot when you get your videos like YouTube videos too. So Let's add, let's use some of this. Let's use basic, uh, basic effect. See? So it's not going to affect the other video, just the first one because of this transition. So, in case you want your video uh, color filter to be the same, the color filter. Make sure that you add it at the beginning so that you have before splitting your videos into transition into a little footage. So, let's add text. I want the text to be from the beginning of the first layer. And you click on layer and text. Okay, then you enlarge, click here to change the text color, let's change it to red, and red, then in animation, let's pick fit in animation. And click on the text. We need out animation. To to go fade out animation. And no 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 sorry. Click on it and you can blend it or you choose. Click here to choose of type of font let's choose uh over to condense board uh-huh then what what again what again I add shadow color background and all that to it this is for duration enlarge it this seven seconds you can Try it to the end of the video, then this one too. I'll pick up a bar before you enlarge it too. If you want it to end of the video, well, just stream it only for the first side of it. So, what should we add? What should we add again? I should be cut this and this okay if you add uh, a bureau another video 
plain white Let's add a message of plain white Street shoes, okay Yes mm -hmm. Now, this video now You have your chroma key, you can crop the video like this mm -hmm. oh, that's a square oh, I think it's a side terrace and put another one this you can put the in animation the way it comes in you can say it you can use light wipe right that's how the in animation will be okay. the other animation could be Wipe, wipe down on the speed one second, zero point five second. You can choose any duration you want. Um, then you can go to where should be at. So this this is for controlling your audio volume. Then to add an external audio, you can go to the store set store here to download or you can choose your own folder to download and add to it i think that's all for now with this little knowledge you already know how to use most of these tools so don't forget to follow this channel i'll be doing other not rough this one is just a rough tutorial i'll be editing add videos uh intros with this app showing you how you can do some things in case you need you have a question for any part of the video that you don't understand you can drop a comment i'll get back to you and put you on the right track so thank you very much see you next time